Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language, content is inappropriate for minors. video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Dumb Show. Much help is needed always over here at the Dr. Green Thumb Show. Welcome to it. We live on YouTube, Twitch, Discord, and BeReal.TV. What's poppin'? Um, we got a special guest in the building, little CC up in here. <laughs> Welcome to the show, CC. Thank you for having me. Right on. Mm -hmm. To your right, we got the iconic one, Eric Big Drum Bobo. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, so you're, hy you're hybrid bri bridding the word into yeah, one thing now. It's an infusion. Badeep. All right. Badeep. All right. Consolidation is what they call that. All right, look, up at the treehouse, the treehouse crew, Bolton, Blanc, Bro, and Bra Bra, and the Dominator. Yo, B, we're just baking it on this hump day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I like your efforts. All right, look, we got <laughs> the concentrate. Cringe when you do that. It is. It's terrible. <laughs> it, 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 it hurts. Kelly Blaze, everybody. concentrate king in the building. Yeah. Yeah, that just threw everybody off right there. Yeah, man, that, that hump day. Come on, Bolton. You're better than that. And we got the balloon master, E-Zone, up in here. It sounds, it just really sounds very cringe, dude. Like, people clear the room <laughs> after you say that. I don't know. The Twitch word was like, like Colton's got to say him. it today. You got to say something else, dude. Why? What's wrong with that? I'm just saying. What what, what very, would you what would you have him say? It just it just doesn't. It sounds very cringe. Give him a know. sentence. I, he, something that fits him. I'm not gonna. I would give him R's just for my own entertainment. Okay, do it. <laughs> he, give him yours. he can't pronounce no R's, man. He of course he can't. It's that's rolling the whole thing. The yeah. it's the rolling of the R's He's not that he roller. cannot do. Yeah. It's, it's not an easy thing for um, Bolton Blombo. Being a Caucasian. Being, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I know some oh Caucasians that could God. roll the R's, bro. Sure. Dominator up there could roll his R's. Roll your oh, R, Dominator. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> Can you roll your R's, CC? <laughs> ah, See? See? She put the B in there, too, Ooh. for good for good measure. All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Mm-hmm. That was big. That was big. It was real big. I mean, it, it's a slapper. Mm-hmm. Um, but how did it feel like to 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 get one of your beats chosen from from my dude like that? Um, it felt life changing. Actually, it felt like you know, like I made history a little bit. I don't know if I actually did, but that's I think what it you. Felt I think like. you kind of did. Yeah, that's what it felt like. So yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, I mean, because mm-hmm. I don't know any other female producer that that um, you know, started started making music, but got a career in modeling and came back and produced a banger and got oh yeah, plat- me a platinum yeah, plaque me for it. I mean, I know a I don't lot know of it. female producers, but that did that no. That I did know. that no. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a hell of an accompli- mm-hmm. accomplishment. Thank you. At a young age, at mm-hmm. that. Yeah, just got to keep going, you know. So did you start off by playing any instruments or you just got into like mm-hmm. chopping beats and stuff? Yeah, I went to like a musical school growing up. So I started playing the drums. So oh. I, that's kind of where my ear for music came from. Um, and then, yeah, I just put it into a computer yeah. when I got older. Like Playing 17. the drums helped your programming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right on. You still play now? These Not days? as much. Because I'm not really around like a drum set, but if I got around one, I yeah. wish I had one right here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. <laughs> For, yeah. Uh, they definitely do a jam up in here. Right. Something like that. Is yeah. that the only instrument you know you learn how to play? Um, No, I can play the piano a little bit, but other than that, mainly just drums. I'm a drummer girl, so that's my favorite. You, you think learning um how to play the piano even just at the basic level helped like with putting some of the tracks together yeah of course and listening to piano i'm really into classical music yeah so i listen to that in the morning or at night or throughout the day and either playing it or listening to it helps a lot does that surprise your friends when they know that, that, that you i don't listen to it around my friends no no i just don't want to annoy I make nobody. them listen to it in the car with me like because they know I, I listen to it too who like bach yeah, Bach, Beethoven, Mozart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah all Chopin, them, them, all them, them, my guys, them, my guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's love crazy. their music. But see, people wouldn't expect that. To, I mean, your fans probably wouldn't expect that. Yeah, it's just the musical school I went to. We learned a lot about it, and that's kind of like, I don't know. I just hear it all day, like, you know, yeah. just in my mind all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's 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 music with a lot of colors. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying, and, and, and synesthesia. That's what I got. Yeah. Anybody got a lighter? Cause yeah, a time dropped the ball on the Thank light. You. Right. <laughs> Come on, a time. What's going on with you? I mean, that's that that's dope to have that sort of background though. Like, and uh-huh. to to have to be open up opened up like that because most most people are listening to some some different different type of music. Yeah. Less classical. Mm-hmm. And I think if if people realize the 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 state of mind that classical music could put you in. You know what I mean? Like a relaxed mode where it almost clears your mind. It's almost like a meditation that you're listening to. It's not exactly. but it's it it puts you in that kind of zone. Yeah, it definitely takes me out of my body. A lot of people can't really understand it. I feel like mainly maybe not, but I feel like cuz I grew up with it. Yeah. That's why I can like put up with it or understand it or appreciate it because I've been listening to it for so long and I studied it so I know a lot about it. So, right. you know, it, were your it, parents it, listening to it or was it just something that, um, that you were studying? It's because of my parents that I was at that school or my grandmother at least. So, you know, big thanks to her for that. And, um, yeah, no, they ca- my grandma kind of don't really listen to not necessarily so, classical, but like old school. Old school. Mm-hmm. So, so the classical was all on you. You embraced that on your own. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's dope. What else? What else did 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 you uh, grow up listening to? Growing up listening to Jay Z, um, Lil Wayne, Jeezy, um, Rihanna, Beyonce. Yeah, all that. Mainly Jay Z though. That's like my number one. I love Jay Z. Yeah, he's to me he's top three. In, oh, he's number list. one for me. Yeah, for Ain't me, no three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, for one. me, nah, I gotta have a top three though. <laughs> like for me, I gotta have a top three. Mm. So for my my top three is J, K R S one, and Eminem. Those are my top three. Eminem is another one I listened to a lot growing up. Yeah, he's a beast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked him a lot. Let me ask you this because this is you know like one of the triple OGs in hip hop. Um, Melly Mel was talking about like he don't he don't deserve the props he gets. Um, 
some of us don't agree with that opinion because we feel like Eminem is an absolute beast. Do you mm-hmm. think he 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 gets he? Do you think the props he gets he deserves as being called the goat in in hip hop? Well, like music? you mean like do I? As as one of the top MCs that ever did. I've never heard anybody ever down talk that man. So I don't know. I've only heard people say he's he's really that. I That's mean, what I'm saying. maybe so not he deserves today, his, he, like, so he deserves his props. Is what I'm saying. Obviously, yeah, yeah. of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of us feel that. I don't know why you know anyone would dispute that because he's a he's a dope rapper. No matter you know what color you put him in, he's 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 that guy. Yeah. But as of late, like you said, maybe the songs ain't is. Is um maybe he's they're... like the most stream rapper of like all time, isn't he? Yeah, something like that. I yeah. think so. Yeah, and maybe it's it's the newer songs don't resonate like they used to, but he's still that guy. I always had love for his craft, but just his voice like never sat with me. Like it, it annoys me. Like his voice, <laughs> big bird does. voice. No, no, his voice definitely annoys me. But as a rapper, you can't deny his talent. His lyrics are ridiculous. Like songwriter execution wise like he could jump on a beat with anybody but yeah. you can't take his credit away from him. even if you don't like his voice or whatever you can't say that that man don't have skills what i dig about him is that he can flip his voice he most can. most of us stay in one tone he can do but, that. but guys like him can flip the different tones like buster rhyme can do different tones um Biggie was big with that deep and high. Yeah, and go back and forth in the same song. When you could flip like that, mm-hmm. I mean, pff, that's that's a multifaceted, you know, action right there. Yeah, it was. I gotta give props to that. It wasn't my favorite thing when he when M was doing like the 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 kind of English rapping kind of yeah. voice kind of thing, but the you know, voice or not, lyrically his pen is incredible. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's, that's it. Would you have a beat on deck for M? If of he, course. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the right answer. Because, I mean, who would turn M down? Hey, I need a track. Mm-hmm. Nah, man, I'm cool. No, <laughs> I yeah. I, I, that. I got some as soon as he asked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's one of the best to do it. You got got to give him his. So you, they tell me you got a story on how you met Drake. Mm-hmm. How'd that, um, how'd that happen? I met Drake when I was like, I think I was 21, 22, something like that. Um, it was at a party. And it wasn't really, it was like a club. It was an after party for the Grammys for Drake and Meek Mill. And he had known me previously on some music shit. So, but I'd never met him before, but I had reached out to him that I made beats. So, and he got back to me on it, but. I guess he wasn't fucking with him back then. Yeah. So, yeah, years later is when I saw him. And then, um, yeah, he was like, oh, CC, do you still make beats? I'm like, yeah, for sure I do. Even though I was just modeling, but, like, I still had that talent I had. So, yeah. you know. And then he um, just got on it. I was in London. I sent maybe, like, 10 beats. And then I was modeling when he sent me the song. So I was just going crazy in the changing room, like, what the fuck? Oh, you was trying to keep composed, huh? Yeah, I wanted to leave. I'm like, I'm done with this shit. I'm leaving work. <laughs> Not finished the day, though. Oh, man. That that must have been crazy to get that while you were in the middle of, you know, being on, you know, doing, it was runway work at the point. At no. That point. No? no, I was mainly doing, like, beauty or, like, e-commerce, ah. like, website stuff. Okay. I, no, I've never, even though I'm so tall, I've never done that. I do want to do that one day, but I'm... I just like the bag of beauty. Right. Beauty got that bag. So. Beauty got the bag? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful bag. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. cosmetics. It's one of the best businesses to be in. Yeah, it's cosmetics. the number one most sold thing in the world yeah. over food. And, and the amount of profit. Meaning you know what? Like how you know, high the market. That's crazy. Over food. Over food. Crazy. Where do they have it the most? Like Paris, huh? Like What? L.A.? L.A. consumes the most uh, cosmetics? Yeah. Damn, I would have really? been. All the beauty brands are based out here. I would imagine that, though, because, I mean, you got all these. We wear the most makeup. Well, production yeah. companies that are doing you know, filming stuff. Yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. know, Hollywood. Yeah, that too. All the, all the yeah. Ho- yeah. That's got to be a part of the, the consumption. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Aside from just the individual. Mm-hmm. But, goddamn, that's a lot. So I would have thought mm-hmm. it was big, like in France or some other places like that, or Europe. You know what's crazy is that in France, you know, you see chicks more with a natural look there. It's more for self care. I would, I would say, like, because that, I, I, I mean, I would imagine, like, in like, when I saw the products out there, like in Tokyo, there was just, it was all more about self care. It wasn't really like crazy colors or anything like that. It was like, hey, we're trying to keep that natural look. So I guess makeup is different worldwide. 
No, yeah, of course. Yeah, but Paris, I would say they're more focused on like high fashion because that's where all like, you know, the high end brands are. Mm. So, but yeah, LA definitely got the beauty for sure. Whether it's cosme like skincare, body care, like even like lifestyle, like Nike, like all that type of stuff is based out here. Well, they're based in Oregon, obviously, but they shoot in LA. Yeah, they do a lot of their their brand um, content creation here. Mm. Right, yeah. I mean, pff, LA is the place. I mean, <laughs> it's it's good and bad out here. We already know, but people want to come here still, yeah, and do the thing. Mm -hmm. And and uh, what are you working on exactly right now? Right now, I can't speak too much. I do got a lot of songs coming out this year, though. Excellent. Um, <laughs> after 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 you did the joint with Drake, a lot of people started calling you for beats, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what could mm -hmm. happen. Like, when Yeah, I got Roddy that. Rich, French yeah. Montana. Damn. So, mm -hmm. Nice. And, that, you know, those are great names to follow up with, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, the mm -hmm. fact that they reached out. And so... Yeah, I got one with uh, Young Blue and Lil Wayne. That one is hard. I like that one. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, I had to get Lil Wayne. Yeah. I'm glad that he's on there. Oh, was that the only song you did with Drake? Like, do you have anything, like, in the bank? Like, mm, I'm not sure. He's kind of quiet about other beats he works on. Like, he's mentioned he really liked a lot of my beats, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I ain't really heard too much else other than what's already out. They do a lot of they do a lot of in-house production, right? Like, um, you know, his his own team or something like that. Most I think of, so. Right? Yeah. He works with other producers, too, though. Yeah. But yeah, he does have um, one producer he mainly likes to work with. Do Do you feel like you want to find an artist that you want to work with specifically and just m make their whole thing, or, or I you, would do that one time. Just not try. like my whole career, though. Yeah, no, that mm -hmm. was it. Yeah, because that would kind of box you in if mm -hmm. you were to do that your whole career. Yeah, no, that's like a team partnership. I don't think I would do that forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But doing joints for for individual artists that allows you to do different things because yeah, everybody exactly. wants something some 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 people want the same type of beats but others want to like reach out and try to do different things mm -hmm. and that allows you to grow if, if they hear something different you did that nobody else is giving them mm -hmm. like i want that exactly what do you what do you work on as far as uh man when you're making beats what's your equipment what do you what do you like to use you know ableton uh, uh fruity loops i started on logic um, and then, like, a lot of different artists were just, like, they could tell that I wasn't using FL. So, I don't know, I just switched over to that, like, halfway through my career. So, now I just use that. Mm -hmm. so. Did you uh, start with tracking live instruments, or did you start, you know, produce everything from from the sound? Um, I can do that. Um, I have a partner that is fluent in pianos and a lot of other instruments, guitar, like, literally could play anything. So, I'll just... Uh, you know, hit him up if I need something like that. Yeah, anything you want to play. Mm -hmm. But just... you could just draw it out yeah. on the screen. So That's dope. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> did you ever think that you'd be in the position you were in now? Did you mm -hmm. dream it? Did you see it? When I started it, I probably thought about it one time. Really, I just thought it was fun. Like, when I was a kid and listening to, like, we were just talking about Eminem, Jay-Z, um... I kind of just like love the beats that they got on. So like learning how to play one of those was interesting. Like this crazy about that. Um, actually, my mom told me because I used to think when I was younger that the artist would make their beat and get on the song and right. write it and did all that. Thought so did I thought everything. that they were like a superhuman. Like, yeah. how the fuck are you doing that? Like doing everything. And then I told her that and she was like, no, there's something called a producer. Yeah. So. I was like, what? That's crazy. So there's somebody else doing all this? And I think, I can't remember the name of the song, but the first producer I ever heard of was Boy Wanda. Yeah. He, per he produced one of um, these Eminem songs. I like, I can't, I hate that I can't remember which one it was. I got to go re look it up again. But yeah, that. And then I started getting more, you know, knowledge on like West Coast producers, Dr. Dre, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, I, and I knew who Dr. Dre was. I just didn't know he was a producer. Like yeah. I didn't know all that. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, there there are some that that do it all in one. Like mm -hmm. you know, DJ Quick's one of those guys. Like he he produces mm -hmm. the songs and he can write. I like a lot of his songs. Yeah, he's he's like a genius. That yeah. Dude. Um, and then on the underground level, there's there's uh 
this uh, dude named Sick Jackin from the Psycho Realm, where he had, like he could produce the beats and then like write dope songs. Like some some guys possess that, but like yeah, you know, through throughout everything, yeah, it's rare, like one percent. It's, like, it's yeah, the one percent. Yeah, it's not a lot of them. No. Nah. Um, when it's it's a special thing when you got that Missy Elliott. Uh, yeah, Missy Elliott. She's mm-hmm. one. Um, I think uh, Q Tip too. Q Tip okay. produce some beats yeah. mm-hmm. and also gets down. I mean, you know, you find that out later, though. You know what I mean? Like you might have that 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 passion underneath later. Like you you were Shit, a, me. I might be next. Yeah, I don't know. So you, you might. Know? You, that's what I was gonna ask you next. Are you trying to get on on uh, one know, of your I'm beats? Real, I'm, I was just really just talking, but I'm really shy. Like I would do it. I do have songs that I made and I do like them a lot. Like I would put them out. I just don't know if I'm ready for what comes with that, as in like work wise. So like it's, it's more I'm real shy and reserved. So that's always been like a big step for me to like come out, have to come out my shell. Cause with making beats, I don't have to do that. Like modeling, it's just this amount of time. Like I got an end time. Music is no end time. What if you crossed it up with the modeling? What do you mean? Like you know, did a like you wrote a song, did a performance at you know at one of your modeling gigs. You know what I'm saying? Like walking runway. Some after you walk, you just start rapping. After yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would be dope. You hit that the mark, <laughs> spit a quick sixteen to oh, one of your beats, and then walk the. Or fuck I could back. just walk up and down to my beat. You exactly. know, it's like same thing. It could just so still like, be a beat. Like doing a video then would be no problem because you're used to the cameras already. Uh-huh. So um, what do you think about like? that part of it what was the know? question again like doing yeah. like a video like a video of one of your songs you're kind of used to the camera already so what do you think about like doing a music video yeah. like if i'm rapping yeah um yeah i would do a music video but see again that's another thing it's like i don't know if i'm gonna do all that like have to do all that <laughs> you, you know? have to think about that because it's yeah. a lot yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah would you like a shot no, I'm good. Okay. So yeah i'm good ask before we toast <laughs> you could <laughs> i already poured you oh you already thank you yeah. son you are yeah. very thoughtful. That's a cute little glass. I like that little glass. Thank you. We got him at Tokyo. Right. Kompai, everyone. Kompai. 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 Hey, I said that out there. I was out there. They had me saying that. I remember that. Ah. That's funny. That's like their way of saying, like, cheers. Mm-hmm. You know? It's pretty smooth. Oh, yeah. What is it? A whiskey? It's oh. Yeah, it's it's like smoky, but it's, it's, Number two. it's in the cedar casket. So it's, Was it? Yep. Okay. Damn, I missed the first one? Yep. I was just flowing. That's why. Yep. Mm. What you were cursing? Oh, yeah. I, I I cursed. I guess I didn't. I don't, I don't remember hearing anything. You did. I, what was it? S bomb. What did I say? I don't know. I just <laughs> that's <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> I'll dispute this. This is kind of like a double though, and I feel yours up. <laughs> that's all right. I, I knocked it all down, bro. Don't trip. But what are you doing, bro. I, don't joke. Oh, I mean, oh. would yeah. would <laughs> <laughs> no, can I get another would, joint? Could you get? Of course you can. Yeah. Oh, you already got one. Thank you. Yeah, you got a ten right there too. Um, so, is it something that you considered, like write, writing your own songs, or would you have some like someone write for um, you? For sure, I would have someone write for me while I'm starting, like learning how to rap, because I really want to learn how to rap. Right. Like, I don't want to just sound however on there, you know? Because like, no, nah, I just can't come in like that. So, yeah, I no, just, I hear you. Yeah, I would just definitely like learn, but- be more confident with being on time, like. I feel like that's one thing that a lot of artists can, you know, come up with their bars, but rapping on time might be hard. Oh, man. So, you ain't wrong on that. I've yeah. heard so many verses in this last year and a half, two years, off, like, off the pocket. Like, many, many mm-hmm. artists. Like, young ones, you know, that, that maybe don't do the homework. Like you said, like you like you said, you're, like, you want to do the homework. You mm-hmm. want to try to get it right. The the way this game is right now is that anybody could get in at any time if you, if you're marketable. Mm-hmm. They don't really get you know some of the labels don't give a damn about how good the bars are. It's unless you're marketable and mm-hmm. you know in time those those people get better. But it's better to have the chops like when you start off the one off rip because the whole thing is the scrut the scrutinizing that happens. I mean like you just said it right now. You don't want to be <laughs> like off off the beat yeah out of pocket mm-hmm. and a lot of cats they don't care yeah they don't oh my god it's hard to listen to it's like hey don't you know where the beat is homie and they sound like shit 
Well, that too. Well, that yeah. Sometimes they don't sound like shit. Now, but don't they get me just wrong. It off- could still be a hard song for that song. Yeah. But like all the time, like I definitely want to just be able to rap on beat. Yeah, personally. you gotta rap on beat. Like yeah. you know, like doing it on purpose every now and then just to be different, cool. But like on like the whole album of that shit, you ain't rapping on beat, man. I cannot. No, oh, I couldn't do it. I could not. I ain't trying to do yeah, it. Yeah, some people make it sound easy. It be looking easy, like Doja Cat. Whew. She make it look so easy. Yeah, she's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just about the the amount of work you put into it, you know. And I, I think because you grew up with it, you you'll you'll snap in, especially because you're doing beats, mm-hmm. and you'll be able to hit pockets that mm-hmm. that are different. Yeah, because you you understand the beat more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you made it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you're gonna be all right. It's just yeah, about what you, you want to put into mm-hmm. it, what you want to get out of it. Because mm-hmm. the one thing is, you know, being the producer, you could be behind it all and no one sees you and, you, you know, you got your, you know, your privacy to a degree. Mm-hmm. The minute you pop those verses off and one of them hits or the song hits, it's like, here we go. The roller coaster ride starts and like, boom, now you're out. Yeah, now you're out know. front. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, you know what? It all depends on on how it hits and when it hits you at the time. Mm-hmm. You know, like if if you're open and ready for it. Yeah, I just always picture myself being on like some Frank Ocean type shit. Like I don't want to perform unless it's something like Coachella. Like I don't know, yeah. like touring. You just want to put out music. Yeah, I would just put it out. I mean, there's a couple of groups that they do that. They just put out music. They don't do no promo for it. Like that group Salt from England. Yeah, they don't put no promo out. They just drop the song. They no, no touring. Well, even no escape videos, when nothing. Even escape when they were here, they said it. You know that they they put out their album, the first album, and they did a few shows here and there, but they didn't really tour, like and support it. They were right back in the studio working on the next, mm. um, to 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 get it off. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of artists do that. Like you know, that's why some folks when they see an artist, you know, if they're gonna do a show. They'll come from out of state for that show because they know that that artist doesn't tour. It's like, you know, far in between when you might see them come to town. You know what I mean? So it's like you're you're looking at it like this might be the last chance I get a chance to see these these people. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come down there. They make a big deal out of it. But like, yeah, you know, um, putting out the song is as the artist like you know like if you're actually doing the song <laughs> some of us want to go out there and play the songs and win people over with them and some just want to put it out and it's and and that be it once you put that out it's on to the next every, i think every artist just has a different mindset about it but the, the the industry is built so that if you make that song we need you to go out on tour to sell that song Mm-hmm. And that's what you got. That's the real. And I'm gonna do it all. If I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it 100. percent But you know. you know what? That's the crazy shit, though, because we were talking about this the other day. Is like a lot of artists like fucked off their opportunity because they weren't like following through with certain opportunities, mm-hmm. right? So like, if you get a hit song, you got to be willing to go out on tour and and sell that song, right? So that it it it, it hit it reaches its maximum potential, right? And a lot of groups. A lot of artists, whatever, they didn't go on tour because they weren't responsible enough, or maybe it was too much for too much responsibility for them, and they didn't go, and they had a little bit of success, but it stopped right there. Yeah, it really just depends on what type of fan base you have. Yeah, like I think Frank Ocean just has that fan base. He does, yeah. That he don't really got to do all that. Like they're gonna rock with him no matter what. So. Yeah, yeah. Some artists got that. Like Jay Z got that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like he could sit at home for six years if he wanted to, and motherfuckers are gonna fuck with Jay. You know, yeah. Jay has for real, but Jay has really never did the touring like big time. He's like, did a couple big tours, but not, but not a like lot of a them. lot of them. Like so, to go out there and be out there in Europe, he's not out there for like six months. Hey, let me tell you, when when I was rocking with the Prophets of Rage, right? We were in Europe, and we were in town at the same time that. Jay-Z and Beyonce were doing their joint, you know, show together. Man, it was fucking incredible. Was this one when she was pregnant? 
No, 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 no. It was it was before she was pregnant. Um, she was moving around. She was moving around. <laughs> like, it it gave me two things, right? It validated my reason for having Jay Z on my top three list because the motherfucker came out spitting thunder live, like no no tracks underneath, proper. You Just know what bam. I'm saying? Like, bam, spitting his verses. He wasn't out of breath. He wasn't over projecting. He sounded like he did on the record. And then Queen B coming out and like dancing, like doing all the all the routines and all the shit and singing for real. And the way that they were interweaving that show was just ridiculous, man. I was I was like in awe. I've seen a lot you we've seen a lot of shows. Yeah. We've done a lot of shows, but that was one of the best shows. Mm. It, it's probably for me on my top top five. Wow. They killed it. They both killed it. You know what I mean? It was awesome to see how they 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 wove that shit together between both their catalogs. Yeah, and I haven't seen that yet. It wasn't a separate show. It wasn't like okay, Jay Z's going on, then Beyonce or Beyonce's Carter. going. It was the Carters. That's when they did that joint album. The oh my God! Just threw that out there. Hey, the production was ridiculous. Ridiculous B. Let me tell you what. Dope. I was I was impressed. I was fanning out. Yeah, I've seen Jay Z perform, but just Jay Z. I don't think. I've, no, I've never seen Beyonce perform. I met Beyonce. I've seen them both do their met shit. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen them both do their shit separately, and they're both just as dope separately. Beyonce is better though. No, I I could I probably would agree. Yeah, yeah. Was she's she nice. Mm -hmm. She was incredibly nice. Yeah, that was. She crazy. looks like a nice person. Yeah. yeah. Joshua, Jay Z is not trash. How dare you take that back right now? Who said that? <laughs> Someone in the in the in our chat. Room. Put him in timeout, dude. <laughs> oh, we gotta put them on blast. We gotta put him on. Oh, I just did. <laughs> Cuddle down. Jesus. That's my top three, man. You can't be trash in my top three, buh. Imagine all. Imagine like if you were one of those fools that like you're like, yo, I used to buy zips of coke off Jay Z before he blew up. I'd be yeah, you know I'd that be there like, are people that tell that story every yeah, day, like every week. Some old ass fool in like Yonkers or Marcy or something <laughs> like that. And he's like, he's like, yep. He's like, back when I used to party, I used to get it off of Jay Z before he was Jay Z. Yeah, but he probably talks like Cavi Blaze though. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Jay came to town one, uh, some years back. Well, many years back, he was filming a video down here, <laughs> and who did he, who did he call for the <coughs> weed? It was for one of his boys, though. It wasn't for him. He don't smoke. I've never seen him smoke in my life. He don't even talk about it. He used to back in the days and was for maybe nine Reasonable Doubt albums. I don't know. I think so. It could have been just talk. Yeah. Oh, I believe it probably just rhymes. Because I've never seen him hold one up. And he, I'd never heard him really, really right. like go hard talking about Did it. Did he smoke? Yeah. Maybe it's just like a, a super rich yeah, black it's like, it's like I think he was man. hooking one of his boys up, dog. You know, like one of his boys that really smokes. Maybe he's like, I can't, he's like, I can't tarnish my image. Could have been. I got to smoke, smoke in private. He's like, I'm part of that person. Yeah, Jay-Z probably definitely has smoke. Yeah, like he's probably smokes in private. Like he's like, I, you ain't never going to catch private. me outside. But that seems like some rich person thing to do. Like I mean, when you're on the elite level, like. Yeah, yeah. Some people would be in the weed closet for sure because they don't want to fuck up their bag. It's the, I wouldn't say it's even about fucking up their bag. It's like, just like that. Old, like all that old money they do business with still will live on with that stigma. No, you, you got to understand. I mean? You got to understand um, when you're. OK, so for example. Until George Lopez, Uncle George, got off of his Disney contract, he couldn't come down here and sit with us. The minute he was off that contract, what did he do? Came and sat with us. He didn't want to fuck up his back. It's the same thing, you know what I mean? Like, if you're working for a certain company where that is taboo or that is a, you know, that is a, a, a non-negotiation thing, you cannot fuck around and be seen doing this. That's very, very true. I mean, you know, they, the Jay Z reasonable doubt Jay Z is not today's Jay Z. Right, way. right. Today's Jay Z is a different Jay Z. He, if if he was smoking, you know, he does have his own weed company. He does Ronald have his Graham. yeah, but you never see him smoking, and you've never seen him seen him like hold it up and promote it like he's he's like doing his own product. That's just another business venture. No, no, no. I. Yeah. It, 
Yes, it's another business venture for sure. Yeah, he bought one of the biggest companies in the world. He may smoke, like a little. He may smoke, but he may not be a big smoker. But I'm just saying that, like, you've never really seen him out there like other rappers. We be holding it up like a cigar type guy. Yeah, Yeah. we be holding it up like a beacon of (laughs) of truth, right? One of them rooms, one of them rooms, and one of them mansions that they have is a smoke room. Smoke room for weed. That's for sure. You know, I really don't care if he does or not, because truthfully, that's not why I like him. You know, he don't have to smoke weed for me to get down with his music. His music is dope as is. But I would like like to know. Yeah, I would like to know, (laughs) but it it doesn't make a difference. He has in the studio before. You think Kobe smoked? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah. I I would <laughs> I would think that he's another one of those who would not admit to that, but I believe that he has. Most most NBA players do. Yeah, for sure. They'd rather do that than take the 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 over counter pills that they're prescribed by some of the team doctors. Or drinking. Or drinking. Drinking and playing ball or doing any of that don't mix. Yes. Hangovers and sports don't go together. Never saw Kobe waving a pistol in a strip club. <laughs> no, you didn't see that. Did no, you would not see that. No, I didn't. No. And let me ask you this. What was it like owning a smoke shop? Oh, my gosh. That was so much fun. It was a lot of fun. I love that. Like a smoke shop or a weed shop? A smoke um, shop. Yeah, a smoke shop. That's dope. That's mm-hmm. like with all the accessories, yeah. you know? Yeah, like a head shop. Oh, mm-hmm. I actually sold like- one of those in there. I sold those. A, a stunning mm-hmm. glass? Mm-hmm. These things go quick, right? Mm-hmm. Like you, you probably bought... A certain amount of stock, as as store do, stores do, and when people found out you had it, it went. Mm-hmm. Yeah, certain things go fast. What what did you see like that went the fastest in in your smoke shop? Aside from let's say papers, because we know we know that those go fast. Mm, other than papers, I probably say. Well, for my store, because it was like also a herbal store, I mainly made it like. CBD infused joints ah. with different herbs that like are designed for different things you may need healing on. Yeah. So um, every day those were being sold. But other than that, for like just a smoke shop, probably like any type of tobacco or cigarettes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people be smoking the tobacco because they want to. Well, it's not that they smoke tobacco. It's probably like backwoods or grab. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. wraps, mm-hmm. t- tobacco wraps and stuff. Lighters, like lighters, those go every time. What do Everybody you, gets lighters. What do you prefer, joints or blunts? Um, spliffs. Spliffs both together. <laughs> so you put a little bit of tobacco in your. In yeah, your- I, I get like a strip and I put it on the paper first. I just discovered something actually called like a. Spliffy. Yeah. I don't know. I was at Rolling Loud and I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, and it comes with a strip of tobacco for you. Yeah. But, um, oh, wow. Yeah, it was my first time ever seeing that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what? they don't sell that at dispensaries because you can't, can't sell a tobacco they sell product. It at liquor stores. Yeah, that's at liquor stores. Oh, that's spliffy. It. That, yeah, that is. That's very is. Euro of you. <laughs> oh. They were just saying that. I thought it was more like New York, but that's exactly what it is. And I bought the whole box. I said, give me that whole box. I need that whole I'm box. Bring it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know, it's it's crazy cuz I mean, basically if you smoke a blunt, it's basically it's close to a spliff. There's just a little bit more tobacco in. Yeah, it, it really cuz I went from um smoking blunts to like I kind of wanted to cut back on tobacco, so I just put a little bit now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hence the spliff. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Which is paper. which is probably better for you. Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy? Like if you go to Europe, they do it backwards, right? Like we out here in America, we put a bunch of weed in and well, I don't put any tobacco, but other folks that I know that smoke spliffs, they'll put like the pinch of of tobacco in there to have that little flavor in there. Mm-hmm. In Europe, it's reverse. It's a lot of tobacco in a pinch of weed if they're not avid weed smokers. Mm-hmm. Like there's weed smokers out there that Yeah, cigarettes are big out there. So Yeah. They probably, you know, just yeah, on a little weed. Is. I've come across pure weed smokers that don't like they don't fuck with with tobacco in their in their joints or smoke, no. Yeah, there's know. a lot of those out here. But you know, a, a lot of a lot of the average smokers out there that like you know aren't just about the weed. Yeah, they're, they're smoking spliffs every day with just a little bit of weed to get just a little bit of the feel. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. The the smoke shop. 
Where what where where what where, where did you have it at? Where was Pico and La Brea? Pico and La Brea. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Yeah. Across the street from Roscoe's, right across. Oh, the you had. Hey. Oh man, <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, oh, you had business. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You, you had traffic. Right yeah. 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 They they they've done a lot of different things in that neighborhood now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right? it's definitely. They got all new buildings. It's it's nice over there. I yeah. like it over there. Yeah, it is nice over there. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason you decided not to do it anymore? Or are you still doing it? It's some legal stuff with the owner of that building. Uh, it was like the building is like not really that big. Right. It didn't have like a way to the back. It yeah. was like just the store. So I guess the city was like, this is not how this is supposed to be. You got to fix that. So, mm. yeah, after that, they was like, oh, it's actually. So when they gave it to me, it was like 800 square feet, something like that. Yeah. It's really 12,000 square feet. Huh. So it was huge in there. So they was like, "Well, the rent is going up to eighteen thousand. I'm like, "No, I'm not paying eighteen thousand a month." Oh, fuck That's like, crazy you know. that they. That <laughs> it was huge that. in there for a smoke shop. I was like, "No, nah, it's cool." So, but I made all my money back. I was not tripping. Are you thinking about opening up another one? Yeah, I would open up another one, but I want to do a dispensary. Oh, that's, that's the like next. My, yeah, but a smoke shop is cool. I like how because you could add like a bunch of different cute things in there. Yeah. So yeah, that's like more my personality would be a smoke shop, but a dispensary is hard. Yeah. yeah congrats. Dispens thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, smoke shops are cool though because that's all the byproducts, right? The stuff that doesn't touch the flower. Mm-hmm. But that are totally within the culture. The ancillary product. The 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 smoke pipes, the water pipes, dab rigs, yep. the smoking stones, the the glass tips, the grinders, the assortment of papers, and then all the other shit a smoke shop might have. Cause there's a lot of you know like Yeah, there's so much cool stuff you could put in there and people are like, Oh, what's this? And they'll just like yeah. buy it. Like, yeah. I, I would imagine because you're in the herbs, you probably had uh, crystals in there too, Yeah, I right? did have crystals in there. I did. That's funny. So, yeah, it was, like, fun. Like, I like doing it. So, yeah, I would do another one, same exact way. Yeah. Yeah, the CB joints were really popular. I think because of that area, people are, like, kind of hippie a little bit. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just thought that. And I think shit like that that you have in the shop, mm -hmm. like, that influences, like, folks out there. Like, mm -hmm. when they see the vibes like that, like, the crystals yeah. that people are into that sort of energy. I definitely wanted something different yeah. that you could only find there because I haven't seen an infused CBD joint like that I could get anywhere like other than my shop that I With had. With those particular herbs you yeah. had in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm sorry. With the infused herbs. Yeah. So, yeah. Roses, lavender, um, different like Damiana, mugwort. Like there's different types you yeah. can put in there. Hogwarts? What was the no the last mugwort? <laughs> mugwort. What is that? It's like a. It's a. It's a herb. It's a real, real magical herb. Very These are magical. medicinal. Gotcha. Mm. Herbs. Yeah. He mm. Magical. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter. That too. Yeah, it sounded if it's magical. Mugwort. That's, no. what I, that's what I. Yeah. thought. Speaking of magical. <laughs> he said Hogwarts. Do you do mushrooms? Have you Have you ever done mushrooms? Yeah, I love mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, awesome. yeah mushrooms are real, 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 real fun. Micro, real fun. macro, or like melt. Um, I've done all. I like them all. You like them all? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same here. We've we've all done yeah. micro, macro, melt. Oh, I yeah. think <laughs> I think the micro is funnier. Yeah. Like it's so much funnier. Like because everything just be like enjoyable and funny. But like when you really trip, like yeah. I don't know, it's more like serious in a way. It's but intense. Calm, yeah. Serious. Like I've never felt uncomfortable. Yeah, no, it, it's a it's a good series. Mm -hmm. You're sort of like absorbing everything. Go through that what you need. To only go if you're ready, yeah. though. Only do it if you're ready. Though. Only do it if like, you're ready. Yeah, if yeah. you're going through some or you not don't like anything about where you're at in life. But I gotta do agree, it. like doing the micro, like you will laugh at shit. I mean, when we did the show here, we did it on a, a moderation dose, yeah. which is slightly above micro, right? And we were laughing at every goddamn thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and my, it's funny because like my girl was scared to try them. She's like, I don't know. And then when she tried it, she was like, "This is these are great. These are yeah, dead great." It's she really loves amazing. it. Like, you know what it is? I'll tell you exactly what it is. The reason people get scared uh, of doing a microdose is simply because mushrooms. Yeah, you you put that on there. The stigma. The stigma of what mushrooms do really? when you take 
Well, well, to certain people, not the younger generation. Not the yeah, younger generation. I think because yeah. it's like yep. I'll try anything me. grown from hmm. Earth. If Earth yeah. grew it, I'll try it. But like anything Earth, if it didn't come from Earth, I'm not trying it. If it's right. The ground is safe. Yeah. If it, if a human made that, I don't trust you. I don't trust that. I'm not trying. I agree so. with that. What'd you, you say, Ezone? I said if it came from the ground, it's safe and sound. No. Yeah. Exactly. I must agree, it sir. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. It's next yeah. person that try to say anything about mushrooms. <laughs> there you go, Rip. Yeah. Doug said, "I like your LA hat today too. That's a good. That's a good color." Excellent. Um. Yeah. You know, if people are just afraid of of the label. You know, they hear about it because they probably heard certain peop certain people's like um <laughs> failure stories. Yeah, people that weren't ready weren't in ready other words. or people did that too much. Ready to take it. Right. Took it. They and weren't they ready like or it. they took too much and didn't have a guide with them. No, I can take too much. I, the, too much is exactly. a problem. If you're, if <laughs> That's you're what's in great a good headspace, yep. no there's such no thing. such oh. thing as too much hey, listen. With, mush with mushrooms. Yo, CZ, you should else? see oh, what no. you should see. And, and maybe you will. I don't know because sometimes, you know, these people be surprising us. Like our, the, the people that watch this show will send in what we call submissions, right? And they'll show us like the mushrooms that they're about to do. Or that they took already because it's like you know they this they've or already they done did, it, yeah. but they're showing us what they took over you know the the day before or whatever or the weekend or whatever the trip that they were going on. And I gotta tell you, like some of the shit we see is like, how do you come back from that, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're gonna show us that on this uh, today, but I'm saying like we've seen it, and yes, there are melts. We've all been through the melt. He's he's been through. The I can fuck. I can help them. I haven't done it since. If since they that, melt, I can help them. Since that melt, yeah. Since, uh, I haven't done them since Disneyland. That was like it. enough for me. I haven't done the melt in years. I've done the moderation. What is the melt? What is like that? five grams, four so, grams? So, like, you know. Yeah. Melt. So when you do like an eighth and above, an eighth of mushrooms and above, okay, and you start seeing the crazy trails. No, and yeah, colors I saw and, that. It like put me in a box. Like I was in my yes. house, and my house is big. So like, you're the that was the melt. It melt. put me in a Melting. box within my house, but I could see through it. So I wasn't tripping like that. That's the melt because yeah. I could walk through it. I could see through it. Right. What's crazy? I see where they got the hippie pattern from. Right. It came from that wall. It came I was from like, that. whoa, that this is where fun. the hippie pattern came from. Yes. Like, I thought that people just like, oh, we're just gonna make this. No, they no, saw that, that on came, mushrooms. That came from that from psychedelic. I was like, whoa. From the psychedelic trips, yeah, yeah. From, from acid and mushrooms, that's what that uh -huh. shit was birthed from. Yeah, yeah, I see that. And so, yeah, yeah, we've we've been there. This crew, right? <laughs> we've been Man. there in, in in our individual times. Swimming at Disneyland, I've done that too. That I, really I sweated through a whole hat just because I was just panicking. It inside. do make you hot, but I don't really sweat too much. No, really. like I mean, so, it, it would like just the overall the overwhelmness. I'm just like I started getting. A little bit of anxiety, just like yeah, staying you're being in one around place. too many people. It's too also. much energy around, yeah. like, and, you, and you're vulnerable at that point. Mm -hmm. So it's just if you're if you're not just chill, like I calmed down when I when I we found a bench and somewhere to kick it at and drink beer, mm -hmm. and then you're just able to like oh, recharge. Real did quick. you go on like Space Mountain? Yeah, we went on we went on some crazy rides. I I, <laughs> I went on the the tower of that tower of terror ride. Because when I went on Space Mountain and I was on like an eighth or so of shrooms, and it was a long ass line. And when we got into like the little tube area, and it's Those just like one so. line, and then you're hearing all the noise. Oh, yeah. Kind of like Dustin. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and that's when I started to peak. I was like, this, this is it. This, this is, is what I'm, this is the moment I've been waiting for. Hey, so, 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 so this homie Ron House in our, in our insane asylum says, Dogface said he was high on mushrooms. And he was uh, watching the trailer for the possession of Emily Rose over an hour and a half and forgot to press play. <laughs> he must have been locked. I mean, oh that's the melt. God. When you're watching the trailer over and over for an hour and yeah, a half. You're focused on trying to stay alive in your head that for that hour and a half. <laughs> you must be truly intrigued. But let me tell you what. Did you ever watch anything when you were in what we call the melt? Like visual, like a, a, oh, a I movie. See my, or... my favorite way to shroom is to sit and watch something. So what was the shit that you watched to trip you out? And I'll give you something that Watching you should watch. Watching something that you... No, see, I... Well, no, no, I'm saying like a, like, like a movie that you watched or whatever when you were tripping. 
Oh, I'm a I'm a cartoon person. I love colors okay, and stuff great. like that. So Alice in Wonderland, because okay. that movie is kind of basically about drugs and okay. like mushrooms and stuff. If you really think about it. Okay, so. so let me give you one, and I tell everybody this: uh-huh. when you the next time you you get into the melt, right? Mm-hmm. Watch uh, Moonwalker from Michael Jackson. Okay, it's gonna trip you the fuck out, especially when you're peeking. Mm-hmm. Take it a little. You take your mushrooms, like you know, before you watch it. When you start feeling something, start watching it. And by the time you're peaked up, trust that movie's crazy mm-hmm. in a good way. Mm-hmm. The because like the special effects in it were bef- like way before its time, but like it's a trip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, try that on some mushrooms. Yeah, I got <laughs> you. Yeah, I like watching stuff on mushrooms for sure. Or- Focus. You wouldn't be able to sit there. Fantasia was, was great. Somebody, somebody. Yeah, you would. You would only I be able to focus for. Like you saw that? Saw Fantasia. Fantasia. Yeah, I saw that. That, that. that was like what? I was looking at. I was tripping off everything. I was you're literally like having a conversation with the screen, and they're not even talking on there. Like I was like, what? Look at this. That's a bad fish right there. The, the fish was a bad bitch. You don't you know Kick, what I'm talking about? The yeah, yeah, yeah. Sexy fish. Part. Let yeah. me ask you this, because because <laughs> Ezone Ezone was about to touch on it. Because sometimes when you're on on shrooms or or psychedelics you might be watching something and you might not be able to watch it the whole way you, you, like you get a 15 minute gap yeah but there's other people that like could totally zone in to that thing and ride it out because right. i mean you know tripping is a long trip you sick fucks used to do it before a concert so he's talking about doing a disneyland i'm like that's rookie you idiot to take a th- an eighth and then do a show? Yeah. How? Like, I don't even understand that. Talking about too many people. It's, talking about, like... It's muscle memory. Word, it, man. It, that's that's it, thug life right I there. Mean, For me, I can only say, in terms of, of, of me- remembering the lyrics and being able to deliver them on Mushrooms, full peak melt mode, because we'd be in melt mode word. on stage. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. That's hard, man. It was muscle memory. Yeah. I hear the song, I go... Right and on mushrooms, you won't forget the song. On like, on um, you were drunk. If I was drunk, yeah, I'll forget the song. Yep, all day alcohol, I, I will forget the song. Yep. Weed, yep. I will not forget. I uh, melt, maybe, I only, maybe I might, I might <laughs> forget little, something. But I melted. I had to melt on stage. There was only one time that I've ever failed like this on stage, and that was the time <laughs> of mushroom tea. The melt was real. That I don't, I still to this day do not remember. I have a blackout of I maybe bet. like thirty minutes, <laughs> and I just get stories of like what the hell happened. <laughs> have you tried mushroom tea yet, Cece? Um, no, I heard about it. I just be eating the real mushroom. That's the only one I really have tried. I would try the tea though. I'm not really a big like chocolate. Let me just say this, right? Chocolate, the chocolate. I thought the same thing. I'm not. They could be too much sometimes. They could be too much. It's not even that. It's just like a like. Okay, so like. When I trip, I like to count how many caps, how many stems. Uh, that's how we used to do it. Like, yeah, that's how we I used to do it. Yeah. I can't just take it. Like, I don't know what I'm really taking. Then it's like, no wonder why I don't really fuck with my trip. Because, not that I ever had a bad trip, but, like, I'm not as comfortable because I don't know what I just took. And then on top of that, when you're raising mushrooms, they have to be raised like a person, like a baby. So if you don't do that, you could kind of feel the anxiety within that. Yeah. come up of the mushroom so i don't really like factory raised mushrooms i like one person <laughs> you know really raising that shit and it's like actually way more effective that way that's than kind of chocolate I mean, factory raised mushrooms factory yeah raised i don't mushroom. like that yeah, it's no. not like it's weed weed you might Page be able to do that but a mushroom. mushroom is very emotional like you it's know love yeah like yeah. weed is more like a head high yeah whoever you could do whatever you know whoever made that chocolate that i ate at disneyland Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> it's really in how it's being raised. Like, you can't just grow it higher. Like, so, so it wasn't a hero? No. No. No, you got it oh. from somebody else. I was no. like, you got fucking problems, bro. Whoever made that shit. Yeah, they put it in. If, if, you should <laughs> ever run, if you should ever run across the, the <laughs> mushroom tea, if they tell you take this much, just take that much. Don't take that much. Okay. Yeah, because they be lying, man. Because, no. Uh, that's how he got into, like, past the melt. Oh, because he I went leave it. He no. went into he went in, into the portal. He created the portal. Right. You know what I'm saying? By following the dosing the, guide, is that what you're saying? He found the portal. Yeah, I didn't follow. Hello. I was supposed to have just a little sip. 
Yeah. <laughs> I had more than half the glass. Right. Over the line. Yeah. In 10 minutes, I was done. 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 yeah. minutes. Oh, yeah. And then the call I got was, help me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I had fallen. And he I couldn't had, get you up. You know how to use your phone? When I'm, on, when I'm that deep in mushrooms, I cannot know. I don't know phone. how I, I remembered his. I figure it out. <laughs> I don't know how he remembered anymore. the shit neither because, like, you know, the way he sounded and how we found him. That was a bar right the there. The numbers start um, floating. He looked traumatized. He I was. was. <laughs> he was. We had a show this night. I was leaking, man. He was leaking. I mean, I was crying and <laughs> chilling on my nose, you know, drooling, problem. drooling. Yeah. I needed help. He he did, and, and now and, and I swear to God, it was not an exaggeration. When you start gr- hello start crying, help me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think. <laughs> It was like that. Yeah, it was no, like that. It's no <laughs> lie, no exaggeration. So, mushroom just, tea, y'all. Mushroom tea. Respect that. Respect that tea, <laughs> baby. Yeah. All right. Hey, Respect look. Respect that name. <laughs> we about to get it. It's it's about that time. <laughs> Let's go. Respect the tea. Yo, uh, Dominator, that first little tambourine sus. roll was a little, <laughs> was a little <laughs> sus, man. I, I don't know, man. I just had to say it. I swear I, I, I could roll my arms. I could not let that one go. I'm like, what <laughs> What was that? <laughs> All right. <Wow. laughs> God, I wasn't going to say nothing. Oh, man. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Buddy. Let's go. And we got Johnny Walker up in here with a little New York strip cooked on a cast iron and some buttery goodness. All right. A little side of squash, he's saying. Uh. Cast iron is fire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cece is vegan. This yep. is not attractive to her. That's so funny. That's my Instagram name, my vegan page name, Cece is vegan. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm vegan. That look gross. <laughs> <laughs> gross. That look like some death. It's going to be gross. Mm-mm. And we got a Jose up in here saying uh, these are dairy free and it's plant based. All right. What is that? Lord knows. <laughs> Didn't mention, but that's what it is. <laughs> that's See? That's cilantro salsa. What is? Guacamole? Yeah, we know it's plant based. It's that cool. looks. That looks. What is like? What is that? That look good. That's, that's avocado. I would eat all those ingredients. What is? No, I don't like the white stuff. What is that white stuff? I don't it's like uh, dairy free sour cream. Oh, I hate sour cream. No, I can't do I'll that. I'll go without that. But it looked good. Whatever. It's plant that based. Not, what is that? It could be some Pretty nice. I don't know. Mm. It's hard to see with all this shit I'm on top. I'm trying to see it. underneath it. I don't know. It looked good though. I like stuff like Chipotle. I could get a vegan bowl at Chipotle. Right on. Mm-hmm. Mixture of vegan ingredients. Turn on the and we got Marbelle up in here saying, thinking of a plan to antagonize Colton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That pipe oh, was great. He got the boo boo pipe. He, he got, got the, the boo boo <laughs> Dana. You know what I'm saying? Look at him. Oh, and the sweater, <laughs> too. Oh. Look at him. Oh. Oh, he came at you today, Bolton. My grandson. In the air. My grandson looking sophisticated over there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like the pipe. Like the pipe. Oddly enough, y'all wearing the same color today. Mm-hmm. It's all, it's all gravy. True that. I won't hold it against you. I wonder if there's tobacco in there or weed. No, there's weed. <laughs> and we got Jesse up in here saying, what's up to the fam? Caught my dog climbing the tree. And yes, he's a full pit bull. Yeah. Pit bulls can do this. Yeah, they, they, they be can. doing it. They're great. I'll tell you what. Some pit bulls can hop like a five-foot, six-foot fence. Yep. Strong. Mine used to be. I had a pit bull called Blaze, believe it or not. Oh, wow. A female pit bull. Nice. Um, She was like... You know, white like this one. Nice. And she could hop fences like nothing. I would constantly be having to go and peel her out of the neighbor's yards. And I had like a yeah. high up wall. That's crazy. I had a female pit bull too, white like that one. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, she was crazy. She was so mean to other dogs. She was nice to all the kids. Yeah. But to other dogs, she would purposely get out to attack dogs. Yeah. Like, she had to be put down. Rest in peace, Mallory. Rest in peace. R.I.P. 
And next up in here, we got Smokestack Max saying he's getting ready for St. Fatty's Day with the Shamrock Funky rocking the fatty tip. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. St. Fatty's Day is coming up. He's got all the essentials. All right. Excellent. Shout to Smokestack Mac. All right, Big Smokestack. funky collector. And we got Edwin up in here saying, I'm on my way to the portal to meet Bobo. Mm. I just can't Boring play it. the audio. Sorry, man. Here yeah. he is driving. Oh, my God. There he goes. <laughs> he's on the Oh, man, God. be careful. <laughs> he's not, he's oh, beyond so not old. careful. Dude, what are you doing, lad? Buddy. So he's playing when his game while he's in the portal. He just, just decided that the road was not good enough. Sometimes you All just right. have to go off road. Yeah, I'm so confused. That's Photoshop. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? I was he's like, no, nah, I think he's playing a video game. Plane? No, think it's he's not Photoshop in a plane. That's a car. Oh, it's a video game. I thought he was playing a yeah, video game, like but it. I guess it's Photoshop. That's Photoshop. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's green screen shit. action racer. Yeah. Okay. Green screen. Don't See you at the portal, guy. See you at the portal gates. Bring it. And we got Pablo up in here saying, uh, from Costa Rica here, I'm sharing the first joint I rolled yesterday while getting ready for the Dr. Greentham show. All right, it's on a paper tip, but look, that's not a bad joint. It looks pretty straight. I usually don't rate paper tips, but if I'm rating this one, I give it a nine. All right. Whoa. High for good. paper, man. That's good. I can't see anything wrong with it. A little crease? Okay. A little shark bite. There's a little shark bite right there. A little hickey. Ah, and right there, there's a pinch. Excuse me, I got to take that back and give you a seven. No, by the neck. Oh, no. There's a shark bite by the neck right here. Yep, seven. Sorry. Man. And you got a paper tip, man. PT. Or a wooden tip. I don't know what the fuck that is. Man, but. it was that zoom in that just ended it for you right there. But I'll tell you what, that's still not bad. A strong seven. Let me just say a strong seven. Seven is good. It's just not a nine. Strong seven is better than a soft six, right? True that. And we got our boy Ben Stroking up in here saying, <laughs> after 20 years, I decided to start collecting records again. I buy two a week. I buy one old and one new. I likes. Okay. Oh, Especially so that. Yeah, vinyl's nice. coming up again. I signed one of the Black Sunday vinyls over at the, the San, San Diego shop this weekend. Mm. It's always crazy to see, though. Especially this is the 30-year anniversary of that record. In July, it'll be the 30th anniversary of that album. Yeah. It's, it's really crazy that, you know, for a minute, people thought that vinyl was just going to, it was going to disappear. It was just going right. to go. It was you can't be get all rid of vinyl. CDs. See, mine has never said that. I know. <laughs> Vinyl records actually just outsold CDs for that, the first time. That's there right, because people love vinyl. They do. People it's like sound. collecting the shit. You know, when you take that away from them, mm. it's like they can't. They don't connect to the artists on the same level. That physical connection that phys to the music, right? Yeah, holding it, the reading it. Like we used to take the when you got the tape, you open it up. You read, see if they gave you the lyrics it's, you were it's, excited. It's a psychological yeah. thing, right? You feel more connected to it because you got something tangible that you yeah. can hold as opposed to like download a stream. It, you know, we treated it like an audio book for real, almost yeah. like because you'd be listening to the music and then you're reading the credits, yep. you're reading the lyrics, seeing who the musicians are yep. and all that, who produced what. True. Yeah, I got a couple of those. Yeah. People are collecting more these days. And we got Smokestack Mac back up in here saying, check out my homie on his bike. Homie? Okay. He got footwork on the yeah, bike. Look at that shit. Rail street right. bike. I mean, goddamn. That's some good balance. That is. That's crazy. Bobo, Where are you from? I, Bobo on some mushrooms? I could see you doing this. No, I can't. No, <laughs> so I, I, I would not be doing that. I know some Cali that. people that could do that. That looks like my old school in New York. Like I that's swear. that's crazy how he's crossing over. You can find those kids on Fig. Yeah. Yeah, I do look cold. Whoever he at. Yeah. Oh, look at the plates. I think that was a New York plate. Yeah. It's in Buffalo. Oh yeah, so. New Is York. It? Buffalo. Yeah, I, I don't know. New, yeah. New York. <laughs> it looks cold. I thought all New York plates were the yeah. same, son. It's the same. So I was guessing Buffalo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they all the same. No, he crazy with it. Yeah, he's good with it. 
And we got Hebe GB up in here saying, does anybody else fuck with the scam texters? Hello. We still on for the bank job? Hideout is all set up. What are you talking about? Who is this? Mr. Green? I'm Aaron. My getaway driver. What the fuck? You're late. I'm going to FaceTime you. Better answer. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that one. That's pretty good. That's actually Hebe GB right there. Well done. Nice done. Nicely done, Hebe GB. Everybody call that number. <laughs> And we got a Mark Lala up in here saying, hope to get these signs someday. Cypress Hill will rock New Zealand and Aussie. Legalize it. It's Aussie. Aussie. And Aussie. <laughs> Aussie. God and we'll, be damn. There. we'll be there soon. Next week or something. Next, Next week. Yeah. yeah. We're doing meet and greets out there too, apparently. So uh, bring them. We'll sign them. And next up in here, we got Roddy Rod, and he's saying happy 81st birthday to the legend master of the Iron Sheik. No, hey, uh, Camel Clutch. The Sheik got a Funko. Nice. The good old Camel Clutch. He's 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 a funny guy, too. He's hilarious. He's a cool kid, too. I got to get him up here, man. Bring it. Definitely. He had a, he had a decent brochure. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, his brochure was crazy. He had a strong man. He had yeah. the strong man, man brochure. Strong man. That's, that's mustache. <laughs> All right. And that seems to be it so far. Word up. Thank you for the submissions. Keep them coming to Be Real TV Contest at gmail.com. And we will get them on. All right. Um, yeah. The the Iron Sheik. Yeah. Man, he, he he could he knew how to talk some shit in his time. He still does. Like if you follow him on Twitter, he's hilarious. And that's him. And it's him. Oh, he's still active? Yeah. Good for him. His old ass, you know, he's still... Oh, rest in peace, Bobby Caldwell. Yeah, Bobby Caldwell. Terrible. Rest in peace. Yeah. The man had some soul. He had so many hits, yeah, too. He did. Had his... Yeah. What, does anybody know he passed from? Was it just old age, or did he have cancer or something, probably? Because he know. shouldn't have been that old. They were talking about it this morning, but I, I can't remember exactly what... That yeah, sucks. ...what he passed from. Exactly. But I, I know he was... Uh, Dealing with some issues for the last few months or something like that. Nah. Yeah. Seventy one specify. Seventy one is still, you know. He's one of the kings of yacht rock, son. Mm. Would you would you would would you uh qualify him as one yes. of the kings yeah, of yacht rock? Shows yes. up on the playlist. Yes. Yeah. Many of his songs. Definitely. I'd be surprised and not see his song on a yacht rock playlist. The yacht rock playlist. You like yacht rock? Do you listen He's, to yacht rock, CC? I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's some old school. Okay, look. <laughs> so there was these rock bands in 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 like let's just say the eighties. Yeah, Bobo eighties. Yeah. Right? I love rock, but okay. I don't know what that is. Okay, but look, there was rock bands who weren't necessarily rock. They were like soft rock, right? And there was a um, there was a, a radio station out here called Coast back in the day, and they played what is classified as soft hits. Those songs got played there because they weren't necessarily rock songs, but they were by rock bands or, you know, rock artists. Mm -hmm. um, that soft hits genre got flipped into yacht rock. What type of rock again? Soft rock. Soft rock. Is that like Aerosmith? <laughs> no, it's like softer, Fleet. softer, like Fleetwood softer Mac, than like Fleetwood Mac. You heard of Fleetwood Mac? No. Okay, yeah, that's. That I know be... some rock, some. Okay, how about Holland Notes? No. Doobie no. Brothers. No, I know. Okay, Michael McDonald. What is it? What's Queen? the oldest? Is that Queen? Queen. Nah. Queen. No, that's that's rock. that would be rock. Okay. Classic rock. That Those would be classic. soft rock. What's another rock band? I know. Okay, Coldplay. I don't know if they they would classify because they're too Aton new, rock. but yeah, they oh, would probably we're gonna be, be going like I thought we were talking about just like it's like seventies like type. Rock. It's like seventies eight like seventies eighties. I love shit. Coldplay. Yeah, Coldplay. Yeah, yeah they would be because you know later on they're gonna gonna be considered yacht rock. I think. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> that's actually a good question. That's actually a really good question. Like, would Coldplay back in the seventies be considered yacht rock? I don't. Oh, no, I don't. No, no. I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't see it. I don't even know what we're comparing it to. I just think soft rock. I think it's Coldplay. Is I mean, yeah, you, she would have to have an example to know what. Yeah, what, I don't know what, what we're talking about. Yeah. So yeah. Um, <laughs> I wish he could play like a little bit, yeah, like Bobby you know, Rose, man. He could probably play four bars of something, like Pina Colada or something. No, that's, that's terrible. No, hell no, don't play that. That's a pretty. I like that song, Bobo. You like that? No, song? that's what that's, you won't do for love, Bobby Caldwell. Oh yeah. That's a perfect. Oh yeah, movie. well yeah, I mean, do for love, and that's a good representation because that's like soulful yeah, yacht that, rock, and it's it's been sampled. It has been sampled. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so just play a snippet of Bobby Caldwell. Bring it. What you won't do for love. I think it's taken that. And this way. would this is what would be considered yacht rock. And the thing is, is it. Wait, give him this some. This is what sand. that is. I love this song. Yeah, see, right there. He just died. He just the, That's the what original. We're talking about. I yeah. love that song. The original artist just passed away, but he's, I know I posted it. So that's the one of there the kings go. of yacht rock. Mm -hmm. right there. Okay, there okay, okay. That kind of rock is what they're trying. Like that song right there. So, so Coldplay will be song. like pop rock. Pop, pop for right, sure. Right. Okay. That's so now I get what we're talking about. Okay, right. I get. See, yeah, what? what? You yeah. needed some context. Whoa. I know. I'm sorry, but I, I love. I could tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love. Coldplay. See, Yad Rock. It has a groove. It has a little bit and of soul. And it was all yellow. You don't like that? One? <laughs> <laughs> he, they got a cult following. Hell yeah. Like, he and he's got a yellow lighter. Yeah. <laughs> Look right. at the star. <laughs> Look at that. You don't even know nah, I mean. they got some. They talk to the soul. Love I love. We Coldplay. did a show one time with Coldplay. Yeah, and I remember walking out in the crowd, and people was making love in the crowd. We was like an outdoor festival. People was out in the bushes. Yeah, you know, plowing in the had, bushes. Yeah, Procreation was happening. Yeah. Procreation. Yeah, yeah. to Coldplay. Yeah, baby. To Coldplay. Yeah. To Coldplay. And they got those type of fans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they, they are loved because they're not emo. <laughs> No, they're no, not they're not necessarily emo. Uh, they're like feel good, I think. Right? Yeah. Uplift, uh, feel good. Uplift, uplift. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's kind of happy for me, but like the dude, you know, he writes good songs. So I say that. Great songs. I mean, fuck, it's Coldplay. <laughs> Sorry, Cali Blaze. No, I'm not offended. I'm just saying I don't like them, but I'm not shitting on them like that. Like they got. A crazy fan so, base so and they you, sell out arenas. So like. you definitely would not be rocking Coldplay. In, but it is in pop rock. No, no, no. Have you been to a show? Oh, no. That's why. <laughs> That's no. why. You gotta oh, go. No. You gotta go. No, they, they were talking Katy Perry last week, Coldplay this week. What's happening at this table? <laughs> oh, I'm out, man. Oh, wow. I'm out on principle alone. You, you Even if I would Katie like Perry it, show? I don't want to know if I like it. I, that. <laughs> Katie I don't Perry want to taste hard. myself. See, look, you should go. They got matching sweaters, not him. Some of our guys won't go to Katy Perry. <laughs> word. I loved her when I was like in middle school. You as go. you should, as a young female, you should. The men who are talking about wearing these sweaters are Katy Perry middle for everybody. aged men. No. Katy Perry for everybody. Obviously. Because half of Hell our table. Yeah. Yep, there you go. We yeah. got people ready to so wear sweaters. About Doja Cat? What? How do you feel about Doja Cat? Man, I'm a, I'm a man. I don't I, that, I like but she got Doja. skills. Yeah. I like she got again. skills, you know. I'm a, I would listen to Doja Katie Cat. Katy Perry don't got skills. I love that no. Doja Cat Whoa. song, "Kiss Me More." Uh, Actually, yeah, she I, does. Whoa, she does have skills. She could sing her ass off. It's just not my style, so I shouldn't say Katy Perry don't have skills. Colton would like to hear her roar. Definitely. That you know, it's 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 all subjective, right? Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah. some artist one might love somewhat, others might be like, nah, I ain't feeling that. <laughs> See, she's like, I don't want to talk to you no yeah, more. I know, but, hey, man, I gotta keep it real. <laughs> No, I but, can't just lie. Women's music is hard. Yeah. I love women's music. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. You got to like it. You know. Man. No, I th he, for what it is. I, I think for he what likes. It is, at least. No, no. I, I, I think. Do. I think it's 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 a miscommunication because I know he likes <laughs> women artists. Mm -hmm. There's just certain artists that like he yeah. doesn't connect to. Is what. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think. That's all. I you respect know. everybody's um, I agree. opinion. Like you fuck with Lady of Rage, Christmas right? Kids. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. That she Lauren was Hill. She's absolutely mad talent and that type of music. Queen Latifah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. That's my style, though. That's more, it's not Katy right. Perry, you know? And nothing wrong with Katy Perry. <laughs> Again. Hey, Queen Latifah. And actually, well, I'm not talking to you. I it's you people saying. I'm talking to up there, man. <laughs> I don't have to explain myself to her. <laughs> no, I it's you, you guys that I'm, I want to know about. Are you going to that concert? Where? The Katy Perry? No. See? Oh, thank God, man. <laughs> no, Who is it? Pedro? Colton? Dom? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dom never Step claimed tone. to go. Steph Tone. Steph okay. Tone. Steph. Dom's Just gone. those three? Bobo. C, C minus. No. No, no. Bobo. No. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> DJ Muggs. No way. <laughs> Apple's Yo, gonna, I'm sending this. That was gonna sock you. Word. Dude. I'm gonna send him that clip. <laughs> hey, you think Queen Latifah has a strong handshake? <laughs> she would probably whoop your ass. Man, I mean, she looks like the type of chick that can scrap. That's what I'm saying. Her handshake. Have you seen strong. her in the Equalizer? <laughs> I did. That's why I was like, "Yo, she trains. Her handshake must be mm. strong, bro." Yo, she trains. Where she will whoop your ass. Yo, the rap of my madness. That's Queen Latifah right there. <laughs> Are her and Heather B around the same age? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. That they might be around the same age. Um, La Latifah might be a little bit, maybe a year or two older. Cause Latifah, like her first single, she was like, <sighs> "I just listened to the album." What was it? Well. Was, was she nineteen? Yes, nineteen yeah. years old. Oh, so Ladies old. first. Ladies first. And uh, "Wrath of My Madness" and all that, that was the dope joint right there. "Wrath of My Madness" was crazy. Yeah. She's, she's making that Revlon money now, bro. She's making all kinds of money. Oh, she's God. bagging up. <laughs> like Hulu will be like, "Yo, nobody wants to buy this makeup." I was like, "Bro, nobody wears makeup in this house, bro." She's ba she's bagging up the bag. <laughs> yeah, you know no, but I, I, I see her, Shaq, and Snoop on my Hulu ads. <laughs> I'm like, what's everybody else get? <laughs> oh, they they are Snoop definitely... selling me Coronas. Shaq <laughs> selling me like some Ben Gay spray. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, yeah. Shaq sold me insurance. Shaq sold you insurance. I hope you with you. you that means you're with the general. You're with the general, Bobo. No, don't no, no. trust that little no, scumbag. I was about to say, bro. Oh, the general yeah. does look kind of grimy, though. Grimy. Yo, yeah, if you get grimy. hit by a car and they hand you general you're insurance, done. you're in trouble, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but God damn it, you don't have insurance, basically. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, the brush had those. What's yeah. better insurance? Who he did? It was better insurance, the general or like those two chicks that are up there. One of them. Veronica. Like, yeah, Veronica. Veronica or Adriana. Uh, it, the one with the dog resonates more. I'm like, you oh, know, I got a dog. Every time I come down the street, Adriana's <laughs> Which, pointing at me. Oh, yeah. She's like, right holla. <laughs> you, know you need to saying? switch. You need to switch. Hello. I got a better plan for you. No. Nah. B's going to buy the insurance that shows up at the LAFC sponsorship. <laughs> like, he's going to be like, I, I trust them. It's a champion insurance. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That's tough. You're going you're gonna to call up Jacob. I Hello. might call Jacob. I would never call Jacob. He seems like he'll he'll, he'll overcharge you, but you know, or, or he'll get it he's done. He's a greasy bastard. What about I a, him. you know? You got a turny Big Al. You know, Big Al's better. Big Al, you know. Big Al seems. What like about he's Larry a H? That dude's like a hundred and forty. <laughs> yeah. Man, he's a walking skeleton. Yep. He's still saying, "I'll fight for you." Yeah. See, I, when I moved out here, he was already old. He should have so. had like a kid to pass on to the. You know, he does. His kid's just like, he's like, fuck law, bro. No, no, he's got his brother, <laughs> Larry, Larry H., and now his kid. Yeah, there's three of them, and they're yeah. all hideously ugly. Like, every one of them oh, looks right. scary. They do like look skeletons, the whole family. Straight from the loins. Word, they're papered man. up, though, bro. <laughs> uh, they are papered <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, they're that, papered that shit been around up. for a long time, and it ain't going nowhere. They're just passing it down and passing it down. Papered up skeletons. Papered up skeletons. Is this who you're talking about? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, the one in the middle is the scary oh, dude, guy. That's yeah, Larry he, Parker right there in the middle. Larry Parker. Yeah, that's like Mr. Burns in the middle. Dude. And those are good pictures. Excellent. Of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I don't no, trust no. none of them motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Look, come on, do they got faces you could trust? Come on, put it back. Away. But you don't want to trust. You want to no, lawyer. No, <laughs> and no. They will fight for you. They'll fight for their forty percent. Is what they'll fight for. Oh man, it's not for you. Look, <laughs> look, Jacob has this commercial of this one dude who said, you know, he said um, one for for the the purposes of the sob story that he was like a um, an army vet, and it could be because it could be testimony from like an actual um, person that like represented him in a lawsuit, right? He's. <laughs> In his testimony, he goes, man, I love Jacob. You know, I, I was, you know, I lost my job because this, this sheet of metal fell on my shoulder, and I was out of a job, and you know, I, I was homeless for a time. I did and, see that commercial. And I, I laughed. And I saw, and, and and I met Jacob, and shit, I had never seen so much money in my life. Jacob is my god. <laughs> I was like, damn, who wrote that? To, for a person to say his lawyer is his god. Those are the same people that wrote the commercials for like Everest College. <laughs> like, <laughs> like those are the most cringe commercials ever. So like, get up off that couch and do something with your life. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was like, bro, 
Yo. What are you doing? Like DeVry? Yeah. Did you guys have those out here? Yeah, yeah we had I, the DeVry those were ads. Yeah. No, but you want to know something? There's this commercial. Yeah. There's this, uh, this couple, uh, and she's gone back to school, and, you know, she ends up, you know, if 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 some they can do it, I can do it too, you know? You know what I mean? Is that, that right? Yeah. I was in the supermarket at Vons, you see and that? I saw her. <laughs> <laughs> from the and I saw her and her husband. I'm looked. I never recognized the husband. I'm like, he's the one that says, "Yeah, he just wants to make sure that her kids are proud of her." <laughs> I said, "Oh man, I like." I was almost gonna go up to there. Yo, you chopping at Vons? Man, if you could do it, you I could do it too. You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Bobo, you Gary Coleman in all over the place. So. <laughs> You constantly hitting get what, like pulling man? Gary Coleman's what? all over the place. Son. <laughs> what? You, do you not realize? <laughs> you don't realize that. No, I don't. I didn't I don't. think so. Next one. Because you'd be doing it. <laughs> we do need a next one. We don't have a next one. Are we out already? We ain't even on one. We've been out for like 12 minutes, bro, or something like that, right? We've been what? Long. <laughs> he was like next. I was like, what next? Yeah, we're not, not, we're not there yet. Hey, right. man, yeah. Sue's Buffalo Wild Wings claiming that the boneless wings are just nuggets. It is. What do you mean? A fucking, Whoever, if it ain't got a bone, it ain't a wing. Who went to yes. Buffalo Wild was thinking it was real buffalo, bro? Idiots. Uh, no, that's not. <laughs> he didn't think it was a real <laughs> buffalo. No, he just No, but they, they, a... they made a statement saying our wings are 0% buffalo. Oh, and yeah. I'm just like. They have like, to buffalo. say that now. Who the fuck went in there and was like, yo, you're killing an endangered species, bro. Somebody, anybody can Google that no, shit. No, that's that's not. They had to be descriptive yeah. because people are, are calling you out for anything. Buffalo wild wings meaning it's the buffalo, the hot sauce, right? But because people are making a big deal up out of anything they have to fucking state yeah. that but this dude is saying that the boneless wings are just nuggets i like Buffalo there's no ham in our burgers wings Be real. So people should realize that there, huh? there's there, there there is something we should all be making a big deal about Here, try this one make a big deal about no that, i'm not gonna mix dude that's how i ended up sick in japan oh boy yeah but but um <laughs> what what is it we I, i'm surprised nobody's brought it up apparently the pentagon released a statement saying that there is uh ufos headed this way when? A t- when yeah, it's an official statement. When like, do they, they get here? Come on. When do, what time do they get here? When do they get here, I'm, dog? I'm just saying, what if they're not fucking around? Like, people, How much time do we got to get our shrooms? They've been here. Yeah, they've been here. Yeah, man. but they're like officially going to do like a, you know, like they're like. Like they, a stop. Thing. They've received the transmission. They're saying like, hey, they're going to deploy a few of them to come down. They're probably going to head to the White House. FYI, we're just letting y'all know. I mean, they're probably. Like, Nobody's taking it. I'm like, oh, they, they came out from the Pentagon. They don't got to fly in from nowhere. They're. Probably hiding in the ocean, uh, baby. Where is this let, statement coming from? Let me, CNN. That's what I want to know. Let me know. CNN? Yes. Just CNN? No, it was a few places. There it is. There's there a few it places is. Where it's popped uh, up. Kelly I'm all, right. Look, all, I, all, talk. all I'm saying, though, man, it's like this. Man. Like, uh, look, I'm, I'm what, are you do? to, what are you doing, bro? Are we going to have to all Independence Day it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm about to take like about eight. Uh, hero cubes uh, I'll go with right you. there and portal out. Bro, we all we all seen what, how this we all seen how this ends up in movies. It doesn't end pretty well. We're gonna have to call Will Smith. Penny old plan action. No, it's no, no, aliens is not violent. If, you don't know that. What if they're like, yo, man, what a waste of a planet. Violent. We about to take over hey, that. Listen, if they listen, <laughs> nah, I feel like they if, make everything better. If, if anything, they could. They <laughs> maybe like any species got the potential to be violent, but if they really were. And intended to, they could have came and fucked us up okay. already without coming in telling us they've been here. Okay, but here's the thing: a lot of people think there's many species, very much like, and we we get this encounter, and everybody thinks it's gonna be these little gray or little green people. Why are you but trying what, to make people paranoid? But, but what if let's just say a bunch of predators come out of there, and them motherfuckers is yoked up, they got guns. It, it's not gonna be a good outcome out of there. I'm just saying we gotta. Be- How do you know we won't shoot the three little green asses in two seconds? Uh, there, are, there are more advanced See, species. Oh, oh, we can't oh, I, even I just want to say out. this: like that Yo. kind of thinking is what gets us fucked very up. Very violent. Think I think they're more smarter than that to know we can't just go interact with them. I right. think they would definitely look for the higher source like they did if right. they're going to the White House. Yeah. And they know that it can be something cuz I don't know. I think a lot of weird things about that. It might not be weird to some people, but I feel like humans and aliens have already connected before. Definitely. Like in for the sure. past. They've like been long Definitely. Time but ago, not to the like, masses. Look at the pyramids. Well, like, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I was going to say the, the pyramids. pyramids. Yeah. No possible way no. we could have did that by themselves and knowing where the pinpoint they've who put here. them in the earth. And like, where those stands came from. Only an alien can see that and know that and right. they helped them. Like it was like 
for us. Like unless so. un- unless they got a way to be like, listen, I know y'all got your own beliefs, but this is how it Look. really happened, and it all makes sense. Look. You're gonna disrupt the way civilization works. Look. Now, civilization ain't ready for this. Look. It's, nah, I don't think they trying to come to civilization. I don't think so, neither. It's always when they talk about them coming, it was first about teaching and building. Then when they started coming back later, it was about warning. Like, you're doing too much. Like, with the nuclear weapons and the, all this and the other shit. It'd you be know cool what I'm saying? They... It's, a, it's always about warnings. Like, do not fuck your own planet up. You don't realize how important it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think they're here to protect Earth. And us too. I don't think they're trying to harm nobody. Yeah, it's it's theories. Everybody got their own, but like you know, don't be just like if it shows up at your door, the first motherfuckers that shoot at. I'm first of all, be real. I, I've said they I, want me to do. I'm I've just. I've said it many times people. before. I've thought about this many times. My fear is being abducted. As long as I'm not being like taken through a window, I'd be cool. But if I have, well, a, look, if I have look, an ET experience, look, the one thing you could count on is they're not coming for you right now. You don't know that they're not coming for E Zone. I'm not saying specifically, but what if they crash, think, bro? Think of it as oh a residency. They can't crash. Think of it as a That's residency, a comedy crash. residency if you get abducted. Yeah, you could be laugh. the in-house comic on the fucking ship. Dog. I'm going to really tell oh, them, be like, yo, how fast can we get to other continents? Like, <laughs> I'd be like, can you make it in Japan in like an hour? <laughs> like, that's, I'd be like, that's the first question you'd ask. Oh, I'd be like, yo, can we start an airline? Like, I'd be asking them realistic oh things. God. I'd be like, look, man, these airplanes suck. 11 they would hours? Be, they would be probing you for a week. Just first of all, they're past that, be real. They would, they would not. Oh, boy. Uh, How do you know? Because dude, there's no more dead cows. Uh, in, you in don't know that. Don't know that. You live in the city. I, I look up these things, be real. There's not that many crop circles turning up in America. There's not that many cows being mutilated. Mm. Yeah. Again, you don't know that. What are you saying right there, buddy? All right. It is now the time that we open up the doors to the insane asylum because it got pretty insane right now. Um, so if you got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion, let's go. They're going to come take clones from Kenji. Welcome <laughs> to be a good thing Asylum. <laughs> They're just like, sorry, dude. We, we just- came to take your clones. What the fuck? All right, let's do this. We got Rex up in here asking, who's Little Cece and the table's favorite modern composer? He's saying, I love Philip Glass. No, modern, I don't tap into modern. Me it's just whatever I studied when I was younger that I really, it stuck with me. So it really means something to me. I don't, but new, I don't really, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I would definitely like research that. But actually, you know, I think I might have a couple on this playlist. I just don't pay attention to the composer. They don't hit like Beethoven, huh? <laughs> mm. no, you know, I, I, I'm not really rocking the new composers either, man. I got nothing, yeah. I, I usually, it's like, again, like we said earlier, like, Mozart, Beethoven, Bach, Bach. Chopin, um, Tchaikovsky, and all that. Yeah, those are those are like the the staples. But I guess you got to really be in the classical community to know about the, mo- the more modern yeah. composers. And there's some there's great modern I, composers. Yeah. It's just that's not. It's just like, um, um, Cali Blaze not rocking with Katy Perry. It's, <laughs> it's not my bag, baby. Yeah. John Williams, Danny Elfman. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, yeah them. I don't know who the hell either one of them are. But are they new? They're modern. I guess they are modern still. Current. Even though they're... Half the movies you've seen, that's the music. Yeah. What about the guy who made the Jurassic Park score? John Williams. That's John Williams. That's John Williams. Yes. Oh, yeah, he's, he's dope. For sure, John Williams. Sign me up. That's, that's my guy. Uh, Coppola's brother, right? What's his name? Um... Uh, um. Roman? Is it Roman? Uh, I no, can't I remember. Not. There's there's a few composers that do it like this... like. All those movies, like Dom said, that are dope. But, like, I don't find myself <laughs> looking into their catalog. I appreciate what they've done, and I respect it, and no, it is honestly, dope. honestly, like, if they are big, like they said, I probably know it. And I just don't know that it's them. Right. when right. something like that is played, I'm going to remember it. Well, you know? I know what he's talking and about, like, oh, and I'm definitely a, a fan of those. No, me, I haven't heard of those names. But, like... If they're like in movies or like it's like that type of thing, I probably have heard it. For me, I've heard of those names and I know the songs and I'm definitely fans of the songs. But I'm saying if it's something I'm listening to on the drive, it's the it's the late composers. En- Enrico Palazzo. Enrico, you just you know who that, that is? Up. I was from Naked Gun. You remember the yeah, guy? Yeah. <laughs> the guy who used to yeah, sing in the Naked yeah. Gun. That was Enrico Palazzo. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying, I would like to see that Jurassic Park symphony play that Jurassic Park song live. It'd probably be, oh, probably be quite a sight. All right. Yeah. 
And we got George up in here saying, yo, Cece, when are we getting B real on one of your beats? Oh, boy. Bring whenever. It. Yeah, whenever. Word up. I'm mm -hmm. almost ready. Mm -hmm. And we got Abnormal Mother TV asking, CC, what was or is the name of your smoke shop? Uh, Tree Hugger. Actually, that was the name of it. I thought it was cute, you know, like, because it's for stuff you roll weed in. So yeah. it's hugging the weed. Yeah. Hugging. And I'm also a real tree hugger. Like, I love nature. So, That's what's you know. Up. Awesome. And we got Lewis up in here. This is really random, but it's a super chat. He's saying, watch Faces of Death for my first time, and it wasn't good. Wow, that is rad. Oh, that wow. was, bro, those were, you back just, in the days, that yeah. was, like, the worst thing you could watch. Like, you if just, somebody had Faces of Death on yeah. tape, that was, like, Yeah, yeah and, the, and the one that's worse than that is the world's, uh, world's most, um, what is it? World's most something atrocities. Oh, I didn't see oh, that. Oh, man, that shit is worse. Oof. I wouldn't watch it. It's bad for the soul. It, yeah. it, it Faces of Death was you. bad for the soul. When, when, we were, when we were young, we didn't give a no, fuck, but I'm exactly. saying it. that's, you don't want don't, Yeah, don't, but don't, stuff yeah. like that desensitizes you, man. It's like you get overexposed to certain things like that, and then you, something, it, it fucks yeah. with something, some wiring up there, bro. What do you mean, the, Kevin, that sick yeah. shit? He likes that stuff. They're like, oh, check this out. I'm like, yo, don't show me this yeah, shit. Yeah, Kevin does, Kevin does things that we don't, you know? No, yeah. the, 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 <laughs> the, the, some of the worst things well I said. saw. Some of the worst things I've seen, you know, besides the faces of the death, is like when I went to my first uh, DUI class, and he showed, <laughs> showed Red Asphalt. I believe. Part one and two. I saw that movie too, dude. Red ass for that sure. shit was nasty as fuck. You know, decapitations and real all, too, the, all right? real. Yeah. All shit bad for the soul, but they want to impress this upon you that this is this is what can happen. They got mad because I kept does getting, getting up to go to the bathroom. I was like, I don't want to see this shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. I know that exact movie, dude. Driving is a responsibility. <laughs> 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 like, I'm over here. I was like, dude, I already drive. Just give me like, fucking yeah. slide my shit yeah. off. That's it. And we got White Rhino up in here asking the table, Grave Diggers or nonfiction? Ooh. Damn. What is this, Monster Truck? Another one of these fucking questions. <laughs> it's uh, no. hip-hop groups in the 90s. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Grave Diggers. Same. Mm, that's, that's a really tight one. Uh, I want to give uh, nonfiction a little slight. I thought it was Monster Trucks. So sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, you're too young. Yeah. Next. And we got Adrian V up in here saying, "I love tripping on shrooms, then going into an indoor pool on a floating device and put on noise canceling music. It's very cozy and it makes me feel like I'm floating in outer space." You don't need a lot of shit for your trip. He's indoor, on that indoor, indoor yeah. pools, yeah, noise cancellation. Yeah, where was you? Like, how about a standard pool money. and some earmuffs? They got that work? <laughs> He's on some they Joe said Rogan shit. Indoor pool. What? Yeah. Indoor noise pool. cancellation. Noise cancellation. Okay. You, know you take the up. headphones floating in the pool device. too. <laughs> it must. It must. Be nice. Word. <laughs> Sounds shit. fun. Where's he at? Dubai? Yeah. 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 Probably shit. <laughs> and we got a DJ for life up in here saying, "Yo, be real. I'm in Washington State. You gonna be in Spokane, and that's dope, son." Yes, believe. Uh, when is it? Uh, Four twenty. Is it Spokane or Spokane? It's Spokane. It's Spokane. It is, huh? Yeah. Okay. So but it looks that like one up. it looks like Spokane. Though. Yeah. I've been fucking that one up. But Spokane. when you say Spokane. <laughs> They looking at you like, yep. Spokane. You're from California. I mispronounce Spokane. everything, so what the fuck? Spokane. We're going to Spokane. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we got Underground mm. One up in here saying, don't forget, some of us had the pure psilocybin nasal spray a few months ago. I remember that. We may have a lower THC tolerance in the UK, but we go heavy on the mushrooms. Have you tried that, B-Real? No. I tried that yeah. shit, bro, and that shit would not make, like, I would not stop sneezing for a good 40 minutes. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What are you just like, sniffing I, spores? No, it's, well, I, I mean, it's I've, liquid. You know, you know me, I've, like, I've done my fair share of cocaine. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, it, like I'm like, none of that stuff ever gave me, like, a sneeze attack until, like, one day somebody came up and was like, hey, um, this is the new mushroom spray. And I was like, all right, well, fuck it, let me try it. You know, granted, I was already on a good one. And then I'm like, this shit just made me start sneezing, bro. I'm like, yo, 
this could not be good for everybody. Maybe for some people, but because mushrooms make you yawn, you know, like yeah. I, I do yawn and like when I'm, yeah, really? yo, look at me. Oh, I, yeah. I hate that part about it. Yeah. It is but like I the worst. Be tired. You're not tired. Tired. Yeah. Exactly. tired, but you're not. You yawn. That's the reason I, just I used feel to real make... relax. It's just real calm, and usually when you're like real relaxed, you could like yawn. You start like yawning like everybody in like a emergency waiting room. You know what I mean? That's like what everybody does there, bro. They're watching some outdated TV show and everybody's just. Oh. It's crazy that you're like <laughs> you you go through that function, but you're still all yeah. there. You oh, ain't yeah. trying to go to sleep. Oh hell no! Yeah, you start seeing stuff if you try. Yeah, you and yeah your, your eyes when you start closing it. You're oh like, yeah, man, what's going on? And then you just open them. You're like, I'm coming back. Yeah. <laughs> we got Karina up in here saying, "Hey fam, y'all should check out everything, everywhere, all at once. The one Jamie Lee Curtis won an Oscar for. It's, it's a trip. <clears throat> it is a crazy movie. Have you seen it? Nope." I started watching it. I, I tried to, and then and then I stopped because we was on a flight, and it just was not appealing to me on that flight. That's what really? it was for me. But maybe if I watch it at home or somewhere else, I saw it in theaters, and I, it wasn't my intention to see it. Yeah. And I got into it, bro. That, that movie is quite the trip. I'm not a big Jamie Lee Curtis fan. I think I could appreciate it when I'm not on a flight. Yeah, if, <laughs> if you watched it with the right audio. And yeah. then you saw like I, I met you know you have a pretty high def TV you, yeah you, you enjoy it a lot more True. it's a good movie though it's a trippy like you're like oh this is yeah I want to check that's it out. the portal right there in the, in that movie that movie is the you, portal you yeah. see the portal that's that's yeah. that's what I want to check it out all right and we got Dank Dabby saying CC what is your favorite strain do you prefer indica hybrid or sativa um indica oh, hybrid like the, sometimes you like the heavy impact yeah. All right. Smoke. Do you dab? No, I've never tried that. Um, really? Yeah, I've never tried that. It's too heavy. I don't know what it. Where? Where is that from? Like, how do you? What is? Well, that? it's the is concentrates it, from from you know the weed is just processed out. Like, this is extract. Yeah, okay, it's extract. Yeah, see, I just like it straight from how it comes. The well, yeah. If you yeah. if you smoke like rosin concentrates, it's pure. It's literally there's nothing but you use water. Ice and heat. That's it. You're, you're pretty much so smoking it's pure, hash. pure cannabis oil. That's it. There's no, okay. no chemicals, no yes, additives, I just haven't researched, no like, nothing. Like where, yeah. how you get that? Um, so. There's different yeah. kinds. Yeah. So if you smoke yeah, there the is right the, one, yeah, there's different kinds that process, like that, that break it down with different processes. And the one he's talking about is the most natural one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If somebody offers you a dab, just just respond with this. Be like, is it hash rosin? Yeah. And they'd be like, Nah, I don't want, it. I don't want it. If, if it's it hash rosin, yeah, that's like the. So the most top tier at the current moment. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you ever decide to take that opportunity, just ask me, is it hash rosin? No, you know, I'd rather not. I'd probably just stick with my, you know. <laughs> That's the safest. I'll go with that. That's the safest. Yeah. And we got George up in here saying, join Callie's Mr. Justice Insurance. What? Huh? What was it? Oh, that Mr. is Mr. Justice Insurance. Mr. Just <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, me? That looks like Callie plays bought a yeah. cake from a glass I think that's floor. what he was saying. <laughs> that's like if a me, and, me and an Armenian like got together or something. Bro, bro. Like half, I started yeah, seeing half these. Armenian. I am Mr. Hey, bro. I started seeing these ads and I was like, I'm letting the beard grow out. I'm not being clowned on for this dude. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm good. Yeah, keep that fucking evil off of me. That guy was just scumbag. <laughs> All right. God damn it, Mr. <laughs> Justice. And we got Benny Blanco up in here saying, what up, fellas? Love the show. And can I get a birthday shout out? It's my 42nd birthday. Damn, fool. Happy man. birthday on the 40 <laughs> deuce. Happy birthday. 42, Happy, man. Happy birthday, dog. Pos positive vibes to you, bro. Keep moving mm -hmm. so you don't become one of those like half a statue old people and they can't move much. That's right. That's cool. Stay active, baby. Stay Thank active. You got to hit him with the truth, bro. He's not turning 18. He's turning 42. He's used to that. <laughs> And we got Michelle up in here saying, hey, Treehouse Gang, did you guys manage to read through my email I sent on the 18th of February? What? Yes, I did, and I actually sent that to uh, Aton, so I was hoping he could take care of that. And she's also saying, looking forward to seeing Cypress Hill in Adelaide, Australia. Please pronounce Adelaide correctly this time, Bolton. Adelaide. Adelaide. <laughs> He what said, did he say last time? He said, he said Adelaide. I would have said Adelaide. Adele, Australia. It's Adelaide. <laughs> I like that. Ad Adele, Australia. I I've seen that place, and I would have said, uh, this is, we're going to Adele, Australia? <laughs> what is it, Adel? It's Adelaide. It's yeah. Adelaide. Adelaide. Oh. And Adelaide. we got Luis back up in here again, and he's saying, I took shrooms while watching Faces of Death for my first time. It wasn't good. Why, no, dude? that wouldn't. That's a horrible mixture. Um, Absolutely fucking horrible. Yeah, no, don't do it. 
Yeah. Some of you fools are disturbed in there, yeah, huh? bro. Yeah, bro. That's like, not what you do with mushrooms. I would have never advised. It's a healing plant, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah like is, I don't feel bad for you. Like, yeah. why would you even do that? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, that that's not really. Don't feed conducive. your Don't feed your soul that when you're open mind. Yeah, why don't you just watch the news, bro? It already gives you anxiety when you watch it on normal sober self now imagine like watching it where you're like vulnerable and you got en- you're open to energy mm. you're gonna leave paranoid out of there bro like that is a real thing <laughs> that's crazy <Yeah. laughs> wow have you're you ever just... thought this is my why you have the nightmares that you have at night definitely man who me oh. or that person <laughs> not you yeah, i'm talking man. to them or him or her <laughs> whoever next so we got soldier up and you're saying jay-z wrote one song on the chronic what, which okay. was what song was that? That was uh, still Dre. All right. Yeah. All right. What? And that that he wrote that one. Hmm. That lyrically, I mean, that's a dope ass song. So it I don't know when Jay-Z Dr. Dre was that. working on the Chronic 2001 album, he brought in Jay Z to help write his comeback record. Yeah. And he killed it. And he killed. It. That was a definite comeback track. And we got Todd Carnifax saying, breaking news, T-Mobile is buying Ryan Reynolds' Mint Mobile for $1.35 billion. What's what mobile? What is Who's Mint? Ryan Yo, Ryan Reynolds? What is Van it? Wilder. <laughs> you don't know oh, who Ryan Reynolds is? Yeah, Deadpool. <laughs> no, but there's there's a Mint right? Mobile? <laughs> you know who Ryan Reynolds is. He Deadpool? Is. Don't act yeah, like an asshole. Yeah, yeah Deadpool. <laughs> Yo, but the, first of all, there's a Mint Mobile? Like, who has Mint Mobile? He does. And he just sold it for $3 billion. He just told you, right? <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, what? <laughs> $1.35 Was that a cell phone service? It has all his commercials like up on Hulu. Mint Mobile. Yeah. I've never heard of that. Me yeah, me either. Like I even. I've heard never of... heard of Mint neither. That's worse than what's it called? Uh, Metro worse... Cricket. W- Metro. Cricket. That's cricket. worse than Cricket. Yeah. Cricket is cricket? is ran by by the economy of the paisas and the foreign, bro. Word. Straight Word. up, bro. Yeah. Like every like all the all the I, I, I all feel the like at Home Depot they got that. I've asked them, bro. I feel work. like he did this just to be bought out. Probably. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Oh, That's here, what they're like, oh, here comes yeah. Ryan Reynolds. Well, let's just buy him out so we don't have to deal Cricket with him. Cricket is straight, <laughs> like, strip him. mall kind of thing, you know, in the hood. You know, you don't you don't really see that, like, <clears throat> out there. And the if, you see a, if you see a Cricket, there's a warehouse shoe sale nearby. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't doubt it. Like, it's within, yeah. a, within a point nine mile radius, bro. I know. I, I've, I've been on Pico Union. <laughs> and I, I still think Ryan Reynolds will still be the spokesperson for the company. Of course he will, because it makes sense to keep a spokesperson like Ryan Reynolds on. I that, barely said that right. That is Deadpool? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, he is. That's Deadpool. He and amongst Deadpool. other guys. He played a good Deadpool, though. He, he did. He did, he did. He's, He's a pretty good. funny guy. Yeah. yeah. And we got Jonathan up in here saying, Bobo, can you say I am your Microsoft tech support agent and your buddy voice? Wow. <laughs> uh, can you? Is that something you could do? Full sentence? Is that something you uh, want what, to do? Now, now, we'll say that again. What is, what is it? I am your Microsoft tech support agent. Hello, how are you? I'm your Microsoft support agent, buddy. <laughs> Terrible. That no, is- that was horrible. <laughs> Stick with the buddy. All right, <laughs> next. And we got Ozzy up in here saying, Yo, B, is there any Green Thumb signings next uh. week in Melbourne? <laughs> Melbourne, oh, he went for the right way. He said, uh, he said it right. He did. Uh, no, <laughs> not Green Thumb. Cypress Hill will be si- will be doing uh, meet and greets. So, mm. <laughs> and he's saying uh, much love to the Green Thumb family and have a sick one. <laughs> right. Nice catch, Cali Blaze. That was good. <laughs> and we got Twacklack up in here saying, "Can I get a moment of chaos from the table?" Shit, we haven't had one of those in a minute. We, we have naturally. Yeah. We don't have to pay for those. We do them every episode. <laughs> yeah, you guys should look inside and figure that one out. Um, CC, this is gonna get a little chaotic for a second. You can jump in. You'll you'll get it right when it happens. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Stop requesting. Oh, it weird not ass shit. I'm not my goddamn not monkey. I'm gonna sneak in some of this half bottle of this Come on, man. What is that? I guarantee it. Don't bullshit me. Yeah. Fuckers. This is what they asked for. All right, next. And we got K Mac up in here saying his song of the day is It's a Craze by Alchemist. Okay. Yeah, he just did. Who do you. He, he just put out a new project uh, with. Um, is it Rock Marciano? With, no. Or, no, no, someone else. Oh, who was it? Um, God damn it. Name's escaping me right now. They, I, they just put it up on, on uh, IG. 
couple last couple days. I can't remember who the hell it was. It's not. I think it's Hit Boy. Yeah, it's yeah. one of them guys. Yeah, it's Hit Boy. Him and Hit Boy are are uh, doing something. He did a smoke a smoke box with Hit Boy, right? Yep. yep. And right. next up in here, we got Jaden saying Nas should be spoken more on. Um, I wouldn't say he's underrated, but definitely not mentioned enough from the hip hop community. What I've seen personally. I think of him every time I buy Hennessy because of that Hennessy ad. <laughs> That's got nothing to do with it. Well, I'm but... just saying, like, he's doing things. It may not be because, you know, like, because the full jersey shit. But, you know, he's he's encrypted in my mind every time I buy Hennessy because of that ad. It was that powerful. Well, you know, Nas gets, look, it just depends what circles you're in, you know, because some people think he's, you know, one of the greatest, if not the, you know what I'm saying, to, to some and other others might not look at him that way. Again, it's subjectable, you know, but he's definitely one of the top, you know what I mean? Nas is dope. He is dope. And we got uh, Luis, or Luis back up in here saying, Bobo, you ever heard of the Jerky Boys? You kicked my dog. Of course. The prank call? Uh, you know, the Jerky Boys, they, they were the, the men. Greatest. They were the greatest thing for a minute. Kidding? Man. Definitely, man. Yeah. They were the best. They were back. funny. I don't know if they were the greatest. Thing. I don't oh, know. A prank call? For, for a minute, yeah. for a minute, they were, yeah. that was, uh, that was. The they were great man. tapes, man, back then, because they were that, tapes, and they were great. They were some like, of them were good. Some, some of them were Like, like everything, yeah. you know, like sketch comedy. You'll laugh at three out of four, and then one or two, you're like, man, that was stupid. The, the minute when they started to, like, get the, like, the Jerky Boy show, when they started to do that, it was over. Way too late, yeah. Only the first tape or two, like, their original first two tapes that came out, and by the way, on, like, American Dad or one of those, uh, Mort on Family Guy, like, that's the same dude from Jerky Boys is still doing voices now. That's with, him? With, uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, like, Mort's voice. Yeah. Is they the do dude. voiceover work. Yeah. Oh, so they, so they're still working. That pays, dude. Yeah, that does. Yeah. All right. And that seems to be it so far. Word up. Thank you for uh, the comments, questions, shout out suggestions. Uh, we appreciate them all. Make sure you check out the mix tomorrow, um, right after this show. On Twitch, B underscore Real TV is the place. Psycho Less and myself going to pop it off on turntables. All right, we invite you to join us. And uh, we want to thank Lil Cece for jumping in with us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, have fun. Great. Thanks for sitting in this table. I mean, you, you snapped in with us like just like all the things that we do, you do. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, want to wish you more um congratulations on knocking these tracks down thank and you. uh you know we look forward to hearing more work thank you more coming out hell yeah you got any shout outs um shout outs um go vegan <laughs> that's all i gotta say all right eat more veggies okay drink water eat more veggies that's good all right all Bobo. right all right check me on the socials on twitter at eric bobo on ig at eric underscore bobo on uh, Discord, Bobo's Corner, also uh, on Social Club. And thank to everybody uh, that checks out the show. Thank you, Cece, for coming through. It was a pleasure. And uh, me and Snacks, we thank you for your support, buddy. Word. We don't have a new Funky Drop this week, but we do have a St. Fatty's Day sale happening Friday, March 17th. It's 25% off all fatty tips on the website. Word up. That's www.funkyfieldtips.com. Kelly Blaze. Uh, big shout out, uh, Lil CC. Thanks for coming through. Thank you. Um, big shout out to Catalyst and all the Catalyst stores. Uh, we rock with you. Thanks for carrying out products at all your stores. If you need uh, products at a very good price, shoot over to Catalyst. They got all, all Catalyst locations. Uh, of course, Dr. Green Thumbs. Head over to Dr. Green Thumbs and everywhere else that they sell our products. So, uh, big shout out to everybody in Saint Asylum, 5150s, my girl, my family, and everybody else. Much love. Thank you so much, uh, Cece, for coming by. It was nice meeting you. Um, also, make sure thank everybody who tuned in this morning uh, for the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. The Patreon link is on the YouTube, it's on the Twitch, and it's all over that. So make sure you guys join us on Patreon to see the exclusive content first, and so you can actually get it. Otherwise, you're gonna have to listen to it on iTunes and all that other stuff. Uh, also, make sure you guys go to the website, flavorsbyezone.com or highandhungry.shop. Expect the same team t-shirt drop this weekend. Mm -hmm. So there will be a same team shirt. This is the first one we make. So make sure you guys go to flavorsbyezone.com. There will be a couple of summer co I mean, spring colors coming up. Uh, you know, we got to get rid of this rain. And um, yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. Sending you lots of love. 
positive vibes, positive energy to break through the negativity and the boof that you might face every day. Have a positive outlook. Stay in that positive lane, man, because every time someone might hit you with some negative shit or you might be thinking in a negative frame that you can't get out of, believe that you can't. Just push towards that. All right? I say that with love. By the grace of God, swallow that.